Hey, warriors, I've come to encourage you that God wants you to live your life in peace and not in pieces. Peace is inner tranquility. It's a calmness. It is a quiet confidence. Peace is control in the face of adversity, in the face of unusual and difficult circumstances. God never promised that we wouldn't face troubles or trials. But what he did promise is that he would be with us through every trial, every test, every tribulation. For God is our peace, the great Jehovah Shalom. During our most darkest and difficult moments, God promised that he would always be there. He promised that he would never leave us nor forsake us. That's the word of God. He will never leave us. Through every unusual situation, through every difficulty, God is always with us. For God is our shelter. He's our refuge. He's our fortress. A man that is everything can't just be one thing. For he is multifaceted. God is simply amazing. We serve an incredible God who does incredible things. The scripture tells us in Psalm 91 and 1, it declares, He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High can find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. We must allow God to be our peace and not continue to live our life in brokenness and shattered pieces. God wants us to live a life of comfort, of strength, of joy. For God is our peace. He's everything that we need him to be. But we must only trust that God is all we need. Remember when Jesus told his disciples, he says, don't worry, don't be afraid, but trust in the Lord and also trust in me. God wants us to trust in him wholeheartedly. Even when we're faced with unusual and difficult circumstances, for he is the strength that we need when we're weak. He is the joy that we need when we're full of sorrow and pain and hurt. God wants us to live a life of peace and not continue to live in pieces. The scripture tells us in John, it declares, it says, my peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give you the peace of the world, but I give you the peace of Christ. Do not be afraid. Do not let your heart be troubled, for I am the peace that you need. We know that God is all we need. His peace surpasses our understanding. We'll never understand the peace of God. But all we must do is trust that his peace is all we need. The peace of mind is always full of knowledge and assurance that God is forever a promise keeper. And whatever God declared over our life, we can rest assured that it shall come to pass. Allow God to be the peace that you need and don't continue to look back at all of the moments that your life was full of darkness and difficulty when you were discouraged. For God declares the peace that he gives to you is unlike the peace of the world. And God promised that all you need is the peace of Jesus Christ. All you need is the peace of God. Allow God to be the peace that you need on today. I wanna encourage someone that may feel like your life has been full of disappointments, full of despair, of hurt, of frustration, of pain. You're not alone. You're not alone. For we all endure great trials and tribulations. If you're living, you have had many tests that you've had to endure. But God promised that his peace 
is all we need. We'll find, we will find comfort in the peace of Christ Jesus. Allow God to be your peace and don't continue to live your life full of brokenness and shattered pieces. Allow God to be the peace that you need on today. For he will comfort you. He will give you strength. He will give you joy. He will repair, restore, and realign. Because that's the kind of God we serve. God is our peace. He's all we need. And we know that he's a shelter in the time of storm. He's comfort. And he is our joy. Let God be your peace and don't continue to live your life in pieces. I want to encourage you to find peace. And that means to find Jesus Christ. For God is all that you need. Continue to live in peace and don't allow the enemy to make you believe that your life is just full of broken pieces. For God is your strength. He is your joy. He is all that you need. I love you all so very much. I am Rochelle. This is Inspirational Cafe. Until next time, be blessed.